Seventh grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit six, lesson 10. Different options for solving one equation. Problem number one from seventh grade unit four, lesson 11. Andre wants to buy a backpack. The normal price of the backpack is $40. He notices that a store that sells the backpack is having a 30% off sale. What is the sale price of the backpack? We need to find 30% of 40. And we can do that by multiplying 30 hundredths times 40. And 0 0.30 times 40 equals 12. So 30% of 40 is 12. Andre gets to take $12 off of the original price. 40 minus 12 equals 28. So the sale price of the backpack is $28. Problem number two from seventh grade unit four, lesson 12. On the first math exam, 16 students received an A grade. On the second math exam, 12 students received an A grade. What percentage decrease is that? The percent of decrease equals the difference divided by the original amount, or the difference over the original amount. 16 minus 12 gives us the difference, and the original amount was 16. That would be 4 over 16, which is equivalent to 1 fourth and one-fourth can be written as 25 hundredths, which of course is 25%. The percent of decrease was 25%. Problem number three, solve each equation. A, two times x minus three equals 14. Two times x is two x, and two times minus three is minus six. Two x minus six equals 14. Add six to both sides, now divide both sides by 2. x equals 10. b. Negative 5 times x minus 1 equals 40. Negative 5 times x, that's a negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 1, that's a positive 5. Negative 5x plus 5 equals 40. Subtract 5 from both sides. And divide both sides by negative 5 x equals negative 7. c. 12 times x plus 10 equals 24. 12 times x is 12x plus 12 times 10. That's 120. 12x plus 120 equals 24. Subtract 120 from both sides and divide both sides by 12. x equals negative 8. D, 1 sixth times x plus 6 equals 11. 1 sixth times x is 1 sixth x, and 1 sixth times 6 is 6 sixths. 1 sixth x plus 6 sixths equals 11. Since 6 sixths is equal to 1, we need to subtract 1 from both sides. That leaves us with 1 sixth x equals 10. So we need to multiply both sides by 6. 6 times 1 6 is 6 6 or 1. So that leaves us with x. And 10 times 6 is 60. x equals 60. E. 5 7 times x minus 9 equals 25. 5 7 times x equals 5 7 x and 5 sevenths times a minus 9 equals negative 45 sevenths. 5 sevenths x minus 45 sevenths equals 25. We need to add 45 sevenths to both sides. On the right hand side of the equal sign, we need to find a common denominator. 25 can be written as 25 over 1. Let's use 7 as the common denominator. 1 times 7 is 7 and 25 times 7 is 175, and 175 plus 45 is 220. So we can rewrite this fraction as 220 over 7. Now the equation reads 5 sevenths x equals 220 over 7. We need to multiply both sides by 7 over 5, and that gives us 1x or x equals 44. x equals 44. Problem number four, select all expressions that represent a correct solution to the equation six times x plus four equals 20. 
6 times x is 6x plus 6 times 4. So we have 6x plus 24 equals 20. Subtract 24 from both sides and we have 6x equals negative 4. Now we need to divide both sides by 6. That leaves us with 1x or x equals negative 2 thirds. x equals negative 2 thirds. We could also solve for x by dividing both sides by 6. 6 times x plus 4 divided by 6 leaves us with x plus 4. And 20 divided by 6 leaves us with 20 over 6. Subtract 4 from both sides and you have x equals 20 over 6 minus 4 which is the same thing as x equals 20 divided by 6 minus 4. I've eliminated option A because 20 minus 4 divided by 6 is different than 20 divided by 6 minus 4. I've also eliminated option B because 1 sixth of 20 minus 4 is different than 20 divided by 6 minus 4. And I can eliminate option C because 20 minus 6 minus 4 is different than 20 divided by 6 minus 4. I'm going to keep option D because option D is the same as 20 divided by 6 minus 4, which is equivalent to 20 over 6 minus 4. I can also keep expression E because 20 minus 24 is negative 4, and 1 sixth of negative 4 is equivalent to negative 4 sixths. And finally, I can keep expression f because 20 minus 24 is negative 4 and negative 4 divided by 6 is equivalent to negative 4 divided by 6 or negative 4 over 6. Problem number 5. Lynn and Noah are solving the equation 7 times x plus 2 equals 91. Lynn starts by using the distributive property. Noah starts by dividing each side by 7. A. Show what Lynn and Noah's full solution methods might look like. On the left side, I'll use the distributive property like Lynn, and on the right side, I'll divide both sides by 7. B. What is the same and what is different about their methods? They both divided by 7 and x equals 11. Lynn subtracted both sides by 14 and Noah subtracted both sides by 2. Be sure to support my YouTube channel by liking this video, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.